So here we're going to talk about how to analyze spark timer paper, our ticker tape paper, because that is going to be what we're going to have as our results for these motion experiments or these kinematic experiments. So I'm going to zoom in here and we know that the spark timer is going to actually uh, drop down an electric current through the ticker tape. And these little black or coal colored markings, okay, are the result of those little electric shocks that go through. Now you'll notice that if the spark timer is just sitting there, okay, you get a variety, you get all sorts of these actual um, little dots and it's really indecipherable. But as you start to move through, you'll notice that these little pairs of dots become a lot more visible and singular, right? There's space between each dot. So how we go about measuring with spark timer paper is we look for the first clear set of dots. So in my case, that first clear set is these guys right here, okay? And you can mark on the spark timer paper. In fact, it's probably the best way to make sure that you're not making any mistakes. So how that whole 60 Hertz frequency works with these spark timers is that every actual 0 0.05 seconds can be measured through some of the dots that are placed here. And the way it works with our spark timers set at 60 hertz is that every three spaces, okay, not dots, spaces between the dots is going to account for 0 0.05 seconds of time. So if I look at this, I've got one space here, a second space here, and a third space here. So here is going to be my first measurement from that dot to that first dot that I chose. And then in this lab, in the URM lab, we're then going to go for our next set. So I've got one space here, two spaces, three spaces. Here's my next set. One space, two space, three space. Here's my next set. One space, okay, two space, three space. And if we look at these actual chunks or of three spaces, what do we actually see here? Are these chunks getting bigger? I think they are if we look at the actual data. So this is, this is what I would expect if I was starting from rest, which I did, okay? So in this case, I'm going to measure for this lab using a ruler from my starting, always from the zero or space one, dot one. And I'm gonna measure my first increment here. That, is, that position, that, that distance traveled there, that displacement, I should say, divided by 0 0.05 seconds is going to give me my first velocity. My second velocity for the URM lab, always going from that first set of dots, is going to go to my second actual line. So it's going to include my first segment and my second segment of three spaces. The same is going to happen throughout the entire your your throughout the entire ribbon. Your lines are going to get increasingly long, okay? And your times are going to actually grow as well. So this first distance or displacement is going to be on 0 0.05 seconds. This second total here from this outer line back to the beginning over 0.1 seconds. This line here to the beginning over 0.15 seconds. And this final one here that we measured back to the beginning over 0.2 seconds because every three spaces, so if I look at this, okay, every three spaces here is worth 0 0.05 seconds, okay?